You will remember on the 10th of August baada ya uchaguzi ulinipigia simu usiku that Wednesday after elections na ukaniuliza mambo yuko namna gani nikakwambia your excellency mimi nimemuona Mungu kwa macho na ni kweli mimi your excellency wewe ulikuwa na imani kuliko wengi wetu na tulikuwa tumepigwa tumefinywa tumeteswa tukateseka tukakaa watu hawana maana lakini wakati matangazo ya uchaguzi yalianza kutangazwa nikaongea na ndugu yangu Dende Nyoro akaniambia Moranga 100% MCAs all MPs ni UDA kwetu kiambu nikahesabu hivyo kura ya rais tulikuwa tumepata takrimu na tukaona nikaona tumeshinda mimi sikuona sisi sikuona uwezo wa mtu mwingine isipokuwa Mwenyezi Mungu na ndio nilikwambia usiku huo nimemuona Mungu kwa macho and we join you to give thanks because indeed this was the work of God and nobody else and we are not ashamed to continue traversing the country giving thanks to the almighty God your excellency we have been told don't ignore the small people or the hustlers and listen to them those who are ahead of you ignored the hustler nation the hustler nation spoke in your favor guided by god but i also ask you in tweaking that a bit your excellency please ignore the big people <laughs> don't ignore the hustler nation don't ignore the small people but ignore the big people I have seen very big people in this country now threatening us that they will ask people from some regions that if development is not taken to them not to pay taxes. I want to ask all Kenyans. The Reverend today has told us that God reigns in love, in justice and in truth. It is only just, Your Excellency, as you have purposed, you will take development to every corner of this country. And therefore, I want to ask all Kenyans to also ignore those who think they are big people, asking Kenyans and inciting them not to pay taxes because they want your government to fail. I want to invite Kenyans, let us pay our taxes. Tukumbuke mambo ya lio semwa na mze mwai kibaki kulipa ushuru ni kujitegemea. Ili tuweze kujitegemea na tumsaidie raisu wetu kuongoza serikali inayo jitegemea bila kwenda kukopa kopa pesa huko China. You began your reign as president by disbanding a murderous unit within the DCI of Kenya. And I've also had a number of people who believe they are big criticize you asking where you got the report to disband that unit. Because we serve a God who believes and who reigns in justice, Your Excellency. Continue ensuring that you reinstate the rule of law in this country. That no other Kenyan in the history of our land will be murdered by anybody because they are policemen or they are DCI officers or they are suspected of whatever crime. Anyone who is suspected of a criminal, any criminal activity must be arrested, taken before court and we follow the rule of law and they also get justice as Kenyans get justice. I want to encourage you, Excellency, usi uziwe uoga, kama hatu kuuzi wa siku hile, sasa mutu wa siku uziwe uoga kukutisha, ati atambia watu wa silipe ushuru, hawa wa Kenya wa mekupea mamlaka ya kuokota ushuru, uafanyie kazi wote bila ubaguzi. And because we know you are a Christian who believes that God reigns in justice, you will be just to the entire republic.